work with a particular book, which is what the Constitution. So what I say, what I reflect, must be in conformity with that particular document. So if, and in large part, somebody walking into my office aggrieved, will be aggrieved about what he perceives to be a wrong done to him. Now my job is to look within the law and to tell my, ask myself whether that person has a remedy at law. Now, in respect of the issues of privacy, privacy does not only entail the fact that I occupy a public office. The fact that I occupy a public office does not mean that I don't have a, a private life or I don't have a right to privacy. The issue of privacy here is in respect of the recording of my personal audiovisuals. They are personal to me. You understand? You 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 don't you don't have the right. That's why I cannot just see uh, Professor Mukabe. I cannot. The thing is this: I cannot see Madame Shamima. I, I cannot see Madame Shamima, and decide that simply because I think she is extremely beautiful, I just begin to take photographs of her without her permission because her image, her voice, belongs to her. You understand and you must understand that because if you don't understand that you then you you begin not to learn how to respect the private space of people you understand? It's, it's the context the context is important as you said that is why we have the court of law you understand and so long as someone decides that he or she just as you the journalist have a right to bring out what you believe to be the wrongs in society. Those who are also affected directly or indirectly by your publications also have the right to go to court to see whether what you have published against them or what you accuse them of having done is also in violation of any rights that have been established by the law. And so I think that it is only good that as a society we continue to test these things in the court of law okay. is we are not talking about an individual's right to privacy in their individual lives. We are talking about the ways in which they are threatening their public office through acts that threaten the defense of our democracy. We are not talking about what you're doing in your private life. We're talking about the acts that you're committing as a public official, very often within a specific institution. That is what applies to the um, case of Anas, and it applies to the reality of investigative journalism. So again, I really push us hard to recognize that yes, investigative journalism and law, there is a relationship, and there will always be a tension. It is that part of journalism that will be the most scrutinized by the law. Mm -hmm.